everyone, welcome to Constructive Conversations, your go-to podcast for navigating the architecture, engineering and construction industry. Today we are tackling a topic that's on everyone's mind, work-life balance. So how do you keep your career from consuming your life? We've got an amazing panel of guests sharing their secrets. Let's dive in. Quick shout out to our awesome guest speakers joining the conversation. So guys, let's start off with Ms. Neha, who's from Operations. Hi Neha, thank, thank you yeah. so much for being here. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. So let's kick in the thing. How do you keep your cool and still, you know, crave out time for yourself, like how time for yourself? And please don't say it's just coffee. No, but then as Modi ji says, chai to chacha, that's a very important thing. Mm-hmm. The chacha is the important thing. Chai is a just a sidekick, I would say. Okay. The chacha that we do while we have the coffee, the little gossips and the little stress relievers that we have is what is important. So yes, uh, yeah, I mean the phrase, it's more than coffee, uh, more than the chai, the chachas are very important, mm-hmm. I would say, yes. And balancing uh, in life is something that's, uh, you know, it's an art. We all need to uh, somewhere have it in us, okay? Uh, we need to balance either the personal life properly or the professional. Yeah. You you can make choices um, and at times, there, I mean, it, you, you really can't balance it. So, I mean, it's, it's the choice that you make. Right. So, but you you give priority to the personal life. You give priority to the professional life. That's how it goes. So, it's it's all about how, what you want to balance at that particular time. So, that's so, what I feel. So, on like uh, in operation, I'm sure you have like late night dispatches and stuff. How do you manage like uh, going home with a clear head? Like after such a long day and then going home and being all calm and composed, how do you manage to do that? Well, when you go home, you know that you, you entered a zone where uh, there, there are people who will understand you, who are very yeah. supportive in life, who have always uh, probably wished the best for uh, us. So they do understand our commitments. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when we enter a zone like that, we know that we have somebody who is so supportive that even if we remove our frustration on them, yeah. they are quite cool and calm. They understand, they are, they are just at peace with themselves. So you also somewhere invite that kind of you know uh, positivity from yeah. them. Yeah. And then uh, you, take, you, you just think, okay fine, we, we just have to go and do it. Mm-hmm. It's work anyways, we were sitting at workplace and doing it, so it's okay. And one more thing is that we have our colleagues sitting here, back here at office, doing it late night. So uh, we somewhere feel for them and uh, it's a responsibility as well that needs to be fulfilled. So that's how it goes. Nice. So do you have any advice for like young upcoming uh, individuals who are planning on you know, joining this industry? Well, it's a beautiful industry. I feel they're very creative. Uh, I mean, before 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 I didn't know this industry, uh, I didn't know that architects were so creative. Mm-hmm. All that I had in my mind that uh, they are probably uh, you know uh, a, a good painter, a good artist who can draw well. Yeah. You know, uh, I've seen some people going on to some uh, historical places and uh, making few things, sitting there for sketching. hours together, sketching it out yeah. and stuff. I thought architect was something like this. I mean, who's just a painter probably. Uh-huh. That was what I had in my mind. But when I joined this industry, uh, there is more to them. I mean, I mean, it's not just about the painting or the sketching that they do, but uh, it's it's about how they uh, vision a building to be like and how they want it to be and uh, how they see it, how they probably build it. So it's a completely different industry and it's fun. And they are very creative and humorous. Humorous? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Let's move on to the next uh, guest of ours, that's Mr. Piyush. He's an architect. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Piyush. Uh, so, how do you keep this inspiration flowing like, on a daily basis? I mean, I know it depends on project to project. Like it depends on, mostly it depends on project to project. 
art, uh, like design is everywhere. You can find design everywhere. Of course. Yes. So as soon as you travel to work, like whenever I go from office to home, I just love designs. Those are inspiring. So you don't need any inspiration like from a particular place. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the way I guess that's how I keep my inspiration from. Uh, any personal experience like overcoming work life balance? Mm. I would not say I had very hard problems like that, but uh, in like I can say about in the past of this, it was very uh, problematic for me because we had to work on Sundays also. Oh my God. So it was very hectic when we can't visit parents, we can't do any other jobs. How are you managing? I mean, <laughs> like I even don't know. After I just switched the job, I don't even know how I was managing it, but it's, it was really hectic. But uh, since I've joined this job, uh, it's been really helpful, the timings and everything and uh, the work-life balance has been great. Your personal relationship and your office, uh, like it's just completely separate. And uh, as I can tell you, I have disciplined myself very like nicely. Okay. Like uh, I try to be sharp on time and everything. So for an architect, you need to be disciplined because discipline is going to create a mindset. Absolutely. If you can't create a discipline, you won't be getting the mindset for work. Like you created a half a set of mm -hmm. So I guess that's the important part. And uh, like work life balance is for you. So when you joined here, how was it? Like probably the first three days was a bit really hectic. I can uh, say like somewhat they were because everyone was in group and uh, this was a real like big company for me because uh, previously they were working like the group and so it oh, was not that much. So it was a bit stressful and being an introvert it's really <laughs> problematic to like merge with everyone. Mm -hmm. So starting three days were but then uh, my senior supported me and everyone supported me so it became easier to check out. So how do you find it now? It's like really it. <laughs> yeah. I never think yeah. it. Like, I prefer being here to be Wow. Oh, that's just good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And uh, let's move on to uh, Miss Nidhi. She's an engineer. And uh, today she'll be probably telling us how she balances her work life. So, please, Madam. Yes, thank you for having me here. And uh, since uh, I would like to address this one thing first in the starting itself yeah. that. Uh, yes, it was difficult being an MEP engineer and mostly even in my last office I was the only girl okay. among all the guys so whenever a project deadline comes approaches so uh, we need to work and extend our hours and um, it becomes quite hard you know mm -hmm. uh, going back home and managing everything so going back was the major task yeah, in this. Is, right? but uh, no, I, I got all the support from everywhere and um, yes, my seniors have always been really supportive. So uh, that work-life balance thing has never actually became an issue because okay. it majorly depends from project to project. Okay. Uh, in one project we have like quite a time, we are just doing it um, in the specific time we have. Mm -hmm. But for some project we need to push, we need to work on OTs. But um, again, since we do not have to do it uh, on a regular basis, so that is not becoming a, a hectic task mm -hmm. as of uh, now, yeah. what I have concluded. But yeah, if you are uh, like, if you are actually focusing on um, the balancing your work life, so a senior of mine just mentioned this to me. I don't know how much most of the people could relate to this fact, but uh, you need to work on yourself. You need to keep on working yourself till you can have a life which is balanced. Mm. That means you need to develop yourself to the extent where you can uh, find the easier way of doing ah, smart, uh, smart work over work, hard work. Mm. So that is one of the way how you uh, do it. Like, yeah, we yeah, I mean, with the technology, technology in the market, yeah. currently, you need exactly. better put it to use uh, rather than struggling and uh, you know, getting, getting all the anxieties. Yeah, even BIM is one of it. Oh. You would say, like, 
we can pre-construct something we can know where the clash is we can know where the problem is about to come mm-hmm. before even that is getting executed on site so yeah. yeah this is quite fascinating that we are actually getting into it before even uh, that is out there present physically uh, uh, we have one question for you it's uh, how can we as professionals set boundaries between work and personal life especially in which today work is always accessible um one thing i would like to uh, say about this is um in the company i am working yeah. uh, we have uh, like um, all the same as i and everything so our work is not on our personal pcs yeah when we are leaving office we are leaving office the work is in the yes. office itself the office. so yeah this is one of the thing i don't know how to present it <laughs> is what, what. It, it could be was this the same uh, thing happening at your previous work place no 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 no, no. we had yeah we had all the documents project documents in our pcs also personal pcs yeah. and uh, yes we some days we'll just go back and there's some new project so we just mail ourselves all those documents and we need we have to read all those inputs yeah. so that next day we can just come and execute it directly okay. so that is not happening here and fortunately not fortunately. happening here <laughs> yeah So social life was up at the very beginning. Social life. Wow. <laughs> and wow. after like after coming here, I started. Really? Yes. Sorry to say. Yeah, saying you know is one of it. Saying. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, we sometimes get very tight deadlines that are completely not achievable. Mm-hmm. But anyways, we have to uh, somehow, somewhere know how to convince them that yes, this is not achievable at all, and either provide us with the time or the resource so that we can work on this successfully. Because again, that is just wasting our time and your time too. Yeah. At the end of the day, you'll yeah. be like, where is my uh, output, and we would not be able to deliver it as we already mentioned. Do you even affect the quality of? Yeah. The We will not have time to just do the quality check. We'll just work on it, and we'll never have time to look back at it. That was I think convincing is the key. Yeah. 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 In life, I think we need to convince everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Negotiate, yeah. convince. Yeah. yeah. Right from the time we get up, we need to convince ourselves, ourselves. that we need to get up yeah. and sometimes <laughs> start the day. Okay. So true. So so it's it, I think that's the key. Convince. Yes. Yeah. So once you've learned that art, I think. Then, then it's just a. Yeah. That's always important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's important. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I think with youngsters being disciplined in the initial so, uh, phase is a bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, at times, you you probably have, uh, you know, you have it as a habit mm-hmm. since childhood. So you yeah. probably, you know, have it in your young. Uh, uh, I mean, when you're in your early twenties. Mm-hmm. But then, uh, I mean, I I had a real issue in my early twenties to course. be disciplined. Okay, I was really, uh, I mean, told uh, many a times to be disciplined, to get up at time, to sleep at time, but that wasn't possible. But then, yes, yeah, even during school, our parents were like, "Get up on time." See, yeah. I was so lucky. And now I regret not listening to them. <laughs> I can't now he has kids. Now he has kids. Yeah, now he has kids. Yes, that's yes, how the modern yes, is. All right. Thank you, Ms. Nidhi. Uh, moving on to our last guest, uh, Ms. Shruti from the marketing team, the content writer. Uh, so, as a writer in the marketing team, how do you balance uh, team demands I think, on your own well-being? Uh, as a content writer, it's very important to find inspiration in your work or mm-hmm. how to. learn uh, about this industry and how to portray it in a way that the other person the reader can understand yes. it yes. in a better way than you are understanding mm-hmm. it so first of all it's important to take time to understand the topic and do that in a way that prevents burnout like taking breaks there's this very popular technique um, it's also used in study it's called pomodoro technique you would have heard of it probably Could it's a business about it uh it's take it's breaking your task down into smaller uh gaps of time okay. and you do it for a while and then you take constant breaks in between right. so that you don't um, basically burn out from all this work and another thing is finding inspiration in uh 
it's a little bit difficult because some of the times your creative juices they die out. Like they do. Right? Like what do I write about now? It's just I have to write about the same thing. How do I tell it in ten different ways? Yeah. That's a very difficult task. How do you write up right now? Just reading more. Just reading more. Uh, social media helps mm. and uh, finding it. Uh, on Pinterest or Canva. Yeah. It really helps. So uh, we have another question for you. Uh, what role does self-care play in achieving work-life balance? Self-care is well a really big part of work-life balance. I think everyone would agree. Oh, so this question is for all of you guys. Yeah. Too. He, like the day my salary comes, I'm looking at my wish list. He's, I have to buy everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean that helps. Shopping, Shopping helps. Uh, just doing your favorite things. Like I like to read, so I like to buy books. Uh, and I like to journal as well. That really helps. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular method of letting go uh, of mental stress. Yeah. And it generally works for a lot of people. So that is also helpful. Yes. I can agree on that. I also actually write uh, after I uh, after having a stressful day because there are a number of thoughts going on in my mind mm -hmm. and I actually need to write it down to understand what is actually the major issue that is bothering me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, the, yeah. Neha said you need to have someone to talk to at the end of the day who will understand. Even that is important talking to your friends. Or so probably maybe family. just listen to us. Yeah. I mean even if they don't have anything to uh, Give, give us back as a feedback or anything. Yeah. But just listen. Exactly. That would be because probably at work we do not have too many people who listen to us. We are at the receiving end. So I think we need somebody uh, punching back whom we go and you know, <laughs> blast ourselves to and then it probably calms us down. That helps. Yeah, yeah that, that helps. helps. <laughs> probably, right? <Yeah>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For people who don't have accessibility to other people like maybe yeah. my friends are busy or my parents are like going out somewhere uh -huh. like journaling really helps because yeah. I'm helps. still getting yes. my emotions I guess post, yeah. call, post college I don't think so a lot of people have that many friends yeah it's difficult yes. yeah. so yes. like it's after coming out of yeah. college I can say it's like everyone's just gone yeah, yeah. 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 that's the most of it's just gone yeah you know, but I think when you have working parents, yeah. when you talk to them, yeah. they give you such uh, expert advices because yeah. they have been so, through all that. They have probably served for 30, 35 years exactly. in their life. Yeah. So, you know, they, they know what it is, how we can de stress doing what. So, they are the ones who give us different ways and means. Uh, some say you can dance, you can go for a music, you can just learn guitar. Mm. Um, I mean, you, you can uh, go out, chill with friends, yeah. go enjoy some sports. Uh, I basically draw some some stupid lines everywhere, some curved lines, and start coloring it. That's how I de stress myself. So it's fun. I see that's colors nice. in life, and that's nice. So that's, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you, our listeners, what, you, what are your go-to tips for balancing work and life? Share your stories, funny moments, or any burning question. We might feature them in our next episode. I'm here with a suggestion that I okay. came across okay. on uh, social media. Yeah, it was, it was something really interesting. It was like, uh, I just read that uh, there is a company uh, which uh, take their employees and their work uh, to a trip oh, wow. quarterly or I, exactly I'm not sure about it whether it is quarterly or uh, six months or something, I don't know exactly. but yeah, so it was like, it will not hamper your work hmm. but and you also get a yeah, vacation. it will be a vacation with work vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something. So yeah, that was or like that. Some uh, a lot of organizations also uh, they like stipulated holidays to their employees for like yeah. vacation. So, yeah, that is also helpful. yes, yes. I mean, uh, at certain companies, certain corporates even give. Man I mean, they they are supposed to take those mandatory leaves of ten days. If they yeah. haven't utilized it in the entire year, yeah, they are forced by their HRs to take those leaves. Yeah, and 
you know go and have a proper vacation and just relax and calm mm-hmm. so that they come back and they are all charged up yeah. and they are able to again start yeah. performing yeah, yeah. so yeah. even vacation and stuff help with yeah. productivity yes yes schools for the stable tennis right and i mean we do have and when you have too, a pet right? around yeah. i think that's also yeah. a stress buster i mean most yeah. of the athletes uh, in the news they want to play cricket box cricket yes yeah. yes. yes they do yes so it's also a team building yeah it's a team building yeah, it's, it's a team building activity yes nice. and right now since because we are having the festivity of navratri so these people do see to it that every uh, night or at least alternate nights they are going out and having fun dancing and and you know chilling around mm. staying away till uh, late nights late nights uh, early, early morning i should say <laughs> yes and then again coming back Coming's and back. Working. working so that's something that you know is uh, fun to see because uh, normally during the other uh, time without the festivity we feel that people are stressed out they want to go home back but yeah. that's not the case during festivity because they know that they are going to go out with them chill mm. have fun So I feel more excited to finish work. Yes, yeah. yes. Like earlier, so that I can go off. Agree, agree. So I think you should have a motivation to do post office hours yeah. uh, that that you're happy about and excited about that you finish up your work and then you go. So that's that's something where you can probably balance yourself. You uh, come, you know, achieve your commitments at work and then you enjoy your personal space with people whom you enjoy with. So that's something. So we were discussing something on behalf of this uh, suggestion box for the office. Uh, yeah. You know, people can make suggestions. That's but a yeah. good idea, I think. Yeah, suggestions are always welcome. Uh, in in a, I mean, whether they're good enough or. There's always like, a. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you don't know who will come up with what kind of suggestion, yeah, exactly. which will probably work. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Uh, things that are probably you know uh, right should work for everybody yeah at times certain suggestions that are weird might work for some people yeah. so i think so suggestions are hundred points yes okay any one of them can be good right all right so that's a wrap for today's episode guys thank you so much for thank this much for it means a lot it really means a lot and as mr ratan tata wisely said i don't believe in work balance i believe in work life integration may your passions and purpose align let's do the next time for the topic and yeah thank you for listening so if you liked the content that we presented today please do like, like share and, and subscribe, subscribe to us